What up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. What year is it even? I feel like I stepped back in time and I'm here for it. So guys, today I am coming at you with a free people movement haul. Yes, free people's activewear line, movement. I have gotten a ton of requests. And by ton, I mean one in the past like six months, but here I am. This is actually my first time ever trying them out, to be honest with you. Like, I've shopped around the Free People store, put back a few items because they're super duper pricey, but nevertheless, like, I was always a huge fan of them, so kind of eager to try out their movement line a little bit here. So for those of you who happen to not know, Free People it has like that super bohemian vibe. Like, like you step back into like the 70s, man. It's like super, yeah, baby, peace and love. I feel like their style completely aligns with my soul, like what's in here. It's super nature-y, very just like old fashioned, like vintage, like you stepped back in time and man, it really speaks to me. So I'm very happy about that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this review because we got some gorgeous pieces going on right now. But if you have not already, definitely hit that subscribe button, girl. New videos every single week just like this. Follow your girl on IG and TikTok for all things fitness because together we got this. Mm -hmm. Everything in this haul is in a size small. You'll see everything linked below for you if you want to take a closer look. I gotta say though, first and foremost, my first impression is um, their sizing's a little freaking weird. <laughs> There's a lot of like extra small slash small as one category and then like medium slash large. A lot of it's not individual, and I'm kind of not loving the fact that there's like no extra larges. I feel like it's just not fully inclusive, so I'm kind of like off the bat. So yeah, everything today really did fit true to size, but I'll go into some deeper diving into the actual fits of each piece. So just so you know, I went with a small, extra small slash small for all these pieces, whatever the freak you want to call it. Okay, so first and foremost, I'm gonna start with the one and only full matching set that I got. And this is their black diamond leggings and sports bra. Okay. This spoke to me. It matches my headband. So first and foremost, like this rusted gold color just did, did something to my emotions a little bit. The exact color name is High Atlas, but I was like, oh my God. This needs to be a part of my wardrobe now. This is such a freaking vintage color. And when you really look at it, like it looks a little bit distressed, like it, like as if you kept the set out in the sun, just a little bit too long, I think just a tiny bit. If you happen to find this color disgusting, <laughs> this set in particular had a ton of color options. So I'm sure you could find one you like, but let me tell you something real funny first. These leggings, okay, they look like regular leggings, but when I first pulled them out of the package, they look like they could fit a little doll. And in fact, it's so funny because I accidentally ordered two of the leggings in my cart. So I'm gonna show you right now what I meant. Um, what? So I thought when I saw this, I go, there's absolutely no way that I'm gonna even get a leg in this thing. And somehow, some way, it happened. The stretch in this set is really out of this world. I will hand them that. These leggings are one big rib. Like this whole set together is a bunch of different ribbed motions, lots of ribbed movement, hence free people movement. Okay, you're staying true to the name? Okay. The ribbed waistband is super high and the actual sports bra comes a little bit curved low. Okay, it has a little bit of drapey action on the upper rib section. So for me, with a automatically like i have a short torso so these two combined they touch they touch just letting you know like it looks like it could be part of a onesie <laughs> on me but it's two separate pieces these are squat proof totally would not wear them to the gym just saying uh these are not seamless or anything like that you got a seam running down the bum no scrunch butt or anything so i'm not like totally in love with the way it feels on my peach it looks okay but you know that feeling when a, when a legging just doesn't hug in the middle of your crack and you just know it and you're just like, dang it, like I feel like I could have a uni butt? That's kind of how I felt. Not necessarily how I looked, it's kind of how I felt. So even though I personally would not wear these to the gym, weightlifting or anything, I suppose you could. They are made out of nylon and spandex, so you 
definitely can, okay? You will wick sweat, which is very important. Probably top tier important, other than squat proof. But at the same time, it's really freaking thick. So you're gonna sweat your bum off. I guess that could be a good thing for you if you're trying to do that. It was a slight struggle to get on, a little bit. It took a while, but nevertheless, it worked. So I'm glad I didn't size up to a medium and large. This is why it gets tricky when they do that slash sizes. You could definitely feel that nice medium compression. You could feel it on the band especially, but overall, I would definitely give these a nice medium impact, almost higher. I feel like it really has a lot of support to it. It's about a 24 to 25 inch inseam, so it fits me perfectly. And dang, girl, this sports bra, yo, their sports bras really, they pop up my toddies really nicely uh, without padding. So that's something that's super rare for me. Usually padding is what does it. But in this case, I gotta hand it to them that their sports bras. They're pretty freaking dope. Wouldn't necessarily do anything crazy crazy in this, but I'm not really worried about my goodie bags going everywhere. So that's a plus. It is super strappy and ultra sexy. It is not even adjustable, but you don't even need it. Like this is one of those things that just kind of form fit you so well and there's just no need for the extra dazzles. Do you see what I mean? So overall, these leggings are $128 and the sports bra is $48. That's freaking cray. That's freaking cray. I feel like if you're really looking to kind of speak with your active wear, okay, make a statement, kind of represent yourself like this is who I am inside, like I am a nature lover boho, then yes, it's worth it because it's really good quality. I'll give them that. And super freaking unique because I've never, literally never seen designs like this anywhere. But at the same time, if you're just looking for active wear to do the damn job. Maybe look elsewhere because you're paying time dollar for this baby, but you are paying for the look. You're paying for the vintage vibe, period. So I kind of can respect that. You look for anything vintage, a dress, shoes, boots, it's top dollar. <laughs> they just rare to find. So for the next outfit, I actually did a little bit of mix and matching myself. They do have a lot of odds and ends pieces along with matching sets, so I wanna do a little bit of both. These are the high rise, full length, wrap up legging. Oh, you're seeing that, right, girl? You're seeing that extra material just draping on over. This is actually super like Buddhist yogi. This is it right here in a nutshell. This isn't a size small, an actual size small, and I wouldn't size up, and I wouldn't size down either. The band was a little bit tough to get past my hips because there is a lot of thickness to the band. It's very thick. You have actually like double, triple lining of mesh inside. There's a lot of support there. It's nuts. You even have a hidden back pocket in the band, but on the inside of the legging, and you would think the zipper would be hurting your lower back, but it, actually I didn't feel it at all, which is good. So it's definitely a sturdy as F kind of band, but the drape in the front is what just got me. If you're somebody who's like really sensitive to area, like you don't want anything down here, you're a little more conservative, this is awesome for that. It just kind of hides your goods down there. In the front, not the back. This is in the color gray heather, so it's kind of like a very light tan with a lot of like gray marly breakup. It's very freaking light and only about 90% squat proof for me, okay? You can see a little something, sun, but it's okay. Again, not something I'm wearing to the gym. Totally would do yoga in it. Totally would meditate. That's about it. <laughs> you actually, this design, it has like that canvasy look and you have a little bit of that natural ruched bottom where it's supposed to look a little bit baggier and give a baggier look on the bottoms. It's just very casual, super comfy, Things you could wear around that kind of like, something you can wear around the house, walking your dog, or just chilling the frig out with a glass of wine. So because these are high-waisted, the drape really is emphasized, but it doesn't go to an awkward length where it's like covering your knees. It is the perfect little subtle accessory, if you will. It's like an accessory without actually having an accessory. So these are very unique. It's not for everybody. But me, looking at this, I'm like, this is freaking cool. You got beautiful paneled leg details 
and it really just works with these like that whole canvas look you see a little bit of the raised hem on it so it works for these it definitely works these are mostly nylon with a little bit of spandex so you still do have that stretch but there's like virtually no compression involved in these like you will not have compression other than this mesh band that you'll feel a little sunshine that's about it. So I paired those with the Scoop Neck Good Karma bra in the color Secret Moss. So I wanted that really rich, like earthy green with these leggings, kind of oof. Give it that like, this is just, I am one with the earth. I'm an earth child, period. Again, just like the other sports bra that you saw, there's no padding, but it's thick enough material where you really don't need it. I don't know how it would fit with somebody who's really big chested. That I don't know. But for me, it's working because I got virtually nothing going on here and it really actually compresses it nicely to give me some freaking cleavage. Thank God. If I'm spending this kind of money, I want that freaking cleavage. Thank you very much. The straps are definitely a little more securing than the other sports bra you saw. A lot thicker of straps, no adjustments whatsoever. Good. So yeah, man, again, just like the other sports bra, you got some movement towards the bottom. They don't just give you a freaking band here. They don't just throw in a band. They throw in some intricate rib movement, a freaking strip paneling right in the middle of the toddies, like all over beauty. Lots of keyhole work on the back, little peekaboo, secret moss. It's uh, it's stunning to say the least. So far, the sports bras I am loving. So if you're a girl with small chest, have no fear, girl. This is what where's at. This is also made out of nylon and spandex, extremely stretchy. This is a size extra small, small, and it works for me. Love it. Wouldn't size up. So leggings are ninety eight dollars. Sports bras fifty eight. Dang. <laughs> I went ahead and sprung for this leopard print bodysuit. I don't think I need to tell you why. You know I love my leopard. This bodysuit, dude. Oh. So real quick, I just want to talk about the print itself. Actually looks like real fur. Not just the print, like a normal print. This actually looks like it's fuzzy. And I thought at first, I was like, is it fuzzy? It ain't fuzzy. <laughs> But it looks like it. Got this baby in a size small and it fits perfectly. These shorts on these are not too, too long, although they claim to be like biker shorts. I wouldn't necessarily call them biker shorts, but they're definitely not short shorts. They're not where you're gonna bend over and it's just gonna snap up and show the world your, uh, your stuff. <laughs> There is a beautiful cutout on the front where it shows a little bit of your upper abdominal region. I think it's super flattering, very unique style cut for a bodysuit. And again, zero freaking padding, which I swear to God, anything else without a padding, I just cannot do. These sets, I can freaking do it. And the thick straps, I can mess with that too. You have a normal like square neckline too, which is like, with this print, yeah, okay. It's totally squat proof, very versatile movement. Everything you see has a really nice four-way stretch. It does give me a slight camel toe. Not the end of the world kind of camel toe where I'm like, I cannot wear you out and about, are you kidding? But it's like, there, I'd be lying if I said it was completely camel toe proof. Super stretchy, definitely body fit. So it's mostly nylon and then a little bit of spandex. So I can see a trend that they use with their activewear. It's mostly nylon and spandex. It is super duper soft though. Uh, I don't know about you girl, but uh, I wouldn't necessarily wear this to the gym. <laughs> this kind of leotard, but if I'm at home practicing my gymnastics, or if you know I wanna wear some like high-waisted shorts with this, I would, I would, I, I would do that. So this was 88 bucks. Not totally bad, because everything else was like, Double the price, but you know, for a bodysuit, it's uh, it's high. For this kind of fit, I'd probably pay it. Okay, so the third set that I mix and match actually is what I'm wearing right now. This is the Happiness Runs Crop in brushed taupe, and I matched it with the Kickstart Flare pants. Yes, I said it. Freaking flare! It's a bell bottom up in here. This is in the color elderberry tea. So these are also high waisted and the bell bottoms on these are extreme, dude. They're massively flared out and I am obsessed with that look. I, I believe that this should be the trend now. 
I'm ready to relive the 70s. You have to wear some kind of platform with these. I was swimming in them. If I were to wear these outside, I'd ruin them. But damn if they don't hug the freaking peach. There's no real compression on these and that is exactly why my peach just popped and just screamed out to the world like, hello. It, uh, it did some wonders on my bottom, not gonna lie. They appear to squat proof, never gonna squat in them. I mean, could you imagine me wearing these to the gym? Could you freaking imagine? Maybe I will, maybe I'll start a trend. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm actually super surprised these were even in the active wear section, but I'm assuming it's just simply because of the material it's made out of, <laughs> made it to the active wear section, because, uh. I ain't working out in these. You got a really nice zipper on the back of the band so you can still hold your shiz. No freaking camel toe, whoa. These are almost entirely polyester. I don't really understand, man. Like, this stretch is the stretchiest out of the bunch. So far, everything you've seen, this is by far the stretchiest. But the fact that it's like almost all polyester, this is a wicking machine, so you can sweat in your bell bottoms and you're good. I actually think like if you need like dress pants for work, <laughs> this could work. I would, I'd wear them to work if I like had a desk job or something like that, but wear them with some heels. People will be like, dang girl, where did you get those bell bottoms? <laughs> it's a 32 inch inseam, 32 inches. I really love that they broke up the bottom of the flare with this like triangle ribbed look. It looks like it extends the circumference of the flare. Like it literally makes it look larger than it actually is. It's like an illusion, but it really does break up what would have been just a simple flare. It gives a little pizzazz to it, a little style, a little extra style, as if the flare wasn't enough. This was $98 too, mind you. Now for a flare bell bottom that literally hugs the curves and makes the peach pop, <laughs> I paid $100. The top that I mentioned before that I matched with these bell bottoms that I'm wearing right now, this happiness runs crop is only 30 freaking dollars. Definitely by far the most affordable thing in this entire hole and it came in a massive amount of colors. So if there's anything that I think is worth your buck, it's this crop. I'm not wearing a bra with it. Don't look too closely. <laughs> But nevertheless, it's, it's holding up pretty nice. Very moving, very freeing. And I really love that just distressed look it gives. Okay, it looks like the sun just kind of kissed it a little bit and it's in one big rib. Nice little halter, nice design. It just really is kind of like a beautiful high neck, very, very flattering look. So um, this is a keeper, 30 freaking bucks. I'm keeping it. It doesn't get more simple than this. If you don't like too much crazy shiz going on with your style, this is it. Nice little necklace. Mm, nice little summertime look. Last but not least, guys, I had to throw in a pair of joggers for my ladies out there who love their joggers, including myself. These are their all or nothing joggers. Brig. So first and foremost, like I see a Neapolitan ice cream. Absolutely. I grew up with Neapolitan ice cream, eating it every single day, so I know what it looks like. These joggers are so freaking comfortable. They're like the perfect amount of loose, or not riding up your tush, very comfortable. It is mostly cotton based, so it's very cozy, keeps you nice and toasty and warm, something you wanna just lounge around with, have fun with your girlfriends, not something I would actively work out in other than warming up in it, because you will warm up in it. You have two pockets and then a third one on the back, which is freaking fake. Can I just express how much that pisses me off is when there's a fake pocket, why? Would it have taken that much effort to just make it an actual physical pocket that I can use? That is a tease and I don't appreciate it. When I go to put my hand in and I feel that it's stitched shut. What kind of joke is that? Who's the jokester behind this? I wanna know. I really love the breakup color. So you got a lot of pale tones in it, which I really love. A lot of neutral, but with a little pop of that pink, a little femininity. I really love how when they broke up the paneling, there's a lot of raised seams, like a lot of like, distressed hems, I should say. So it kind of gave a little bit of like, ooh, it's kind of distressed and kind of been worn in a little bit. Isn't that crazy how we like things like that? There's no gusset on these, but I genuinely don't need it. <laughs> I can squat around all day and night and not need that extra four way. So if you're looking for a more form fit, size down, size 
down. I could have gotten away with an extra small. I went with a small though, but I'm happy with it because I like my, a little bit of room or else I'll just wear a freaking legging. Yeah, overall stylish. I would give it a thumbs up because it's very comfortable and it has a unique enough design. This was $108. I love you, but I don't love you that much. <laughs> I'm just, you know what I mean? Like, that's $108. What finalized my decision with the, was this fake pocket, okay? You pissed me off at that. <laughs> you took $108 from me and you scammed me of my third pocket. Are you for real? And you want $108 dollar dollar? Come on now. You going back. <laughs> All right guys, so what do we think? I know, this is one of the most expensive active wears I've ever done. I mean, overall, the uniqueness and that vintage vibe is something that truly like makes me happy inside. So for some of these pieces, I think I could justify the price, but also some of them I'm just like, are you kidding me? Like this is like, this is like triple digit right now. And what? None of these I would actually work out in, <laughs> in the gym. Like I wouldn't actually use these in the gym. These are definitely once in a blue moon pieces for me when I kind of want to make a statement. I will say, however, though, if, if I had to like rank what I would use the most, it's definitely these kinds of tops here. I think they're the most affordable. I love that I don't have to wear a freaking bra. Everything else though, like the leggings and things like that, it's like they're cute and unique, but for them being like hundreds of dollars, I just can't really see myself. I have to, if I'm gonna spend that kind of money, I better be able to use it like daily. So overall first impressions, dope stuff, super unique, love, in love with the style. A little bit overpriced though, for me. That's just me, I'm a real cheap ass. Let me know what you guys think down below or if you have any free people movement pieces of your own that you love and swear by, crops are staying. And if you have any other questions, Feel free to comment down below as always. I'll try to help you out the best that I can, okay? Thank you all so, so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video.